Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about making your bookkeeping fun. So for those who don't know, my name's Katie Cruz Marley Marshall. I'm the author of the book Profit First Tradies. I have two businesses. So I have Efficient Tradie Bookkeeping, which is a bookkeeping business where we focus on making your bookkeeping efficient and simple for your trades business. I also have my Profit First Coaching business where we work on making you more profit without you having to do more work. And today, what I wanted to talk to you about is your bookkeeping. Now, I use and recommend Zero and have done so for 10 years. I believe it's the best in the market for trades-based businesses. But if you don't use Zero, that is perfectly okay because these tips and hints will apply across the board no matter what uh, system that you are using. So the three biggest frustrations I see when I'm working with clients with regards to their bookkeeping, because even if we're working from a coaching perspective, we are always looking at the bookkeeping first, because that is where all your data, all your numbers are captured. And we want to make sure that that is really simple and efficient and easy so that when we do the work on the business, on working on the profit side of the business, that we're working with the right figures. And that's one of the things I see happen all the time is businesses really are trying to improve their profitability, trying to make better decisions in their business, but the data that they're basing the information off and their decisions off is out of date, not up to date, incorrect. And that's what we want to work on today. So the three biggest things I see are that people are disorganized with their bookkeeping. Now, here's the tip. For most of you, you're not bookkeepers. You're not trained in this space. You never have been. So please don't expect to have this in tip-top shape if you've never been trained to do this correctly. The second thing I see is it becomes overcomplicated. Again, because you don't have the education and understanding and the training around bookkeeping, things become complicated and you just don't know what you don't know. And the third thing that I see is for most people, it's a pain in the ass to do for their bookkeeping because it is disorganized and because it is complicated. So what I really wanted to share with you today is that your bookkeeping can be organized, it can be efficient, and it can be fun. What we want to make sure that we do is put steps in place to be able to have organized, efficient, and fun bookkeeping. What I'm going to share with you today are three tips um, that will help get you started on that track. Now, the first one is to use a receipt management system. So what that is, is something like HubDoc, which is what I use and recommend with my clients. And what that means is that there is no data entry. So once it's been set up correctly, data entry is removed. So nobody has to sit down with your pile of receipts and wrap through them. And some of them are faded or they're being torn or any of those sorts of things. Nobody needs to sit down at the computer and enter in all that information. If you've got a physical receipt, it takes you take a photo of that, it scans all the information, uploads it into HubDoc, where for the most part, you go in there once and tell it what account it should go to and, and who it's from and so on. And then that will automatically publish to zero each and every time. So for example, if you've got a Bunnings receipt and you've told um, HubDoc that Bunnings should be allocated to materials, Every time you send a Bunnings receipt through, that will happen and it will just sit in zero waiting for you to pay it and it becomes a matter of just hitting the OK button rather than data entry. If you receive invoices via email, um, most people have them come to their inbox and then you potentially, some people are emailing to zero, but you've still got to do a data entry and you've still got to send that email. And that's not super exciting or fun for anyone. Um, with HubDoc, you've got a specific address, a specific email address. So you can give your supplier that email address. It will go straight to HubDoc. It'll be created, done what it needs to do and come straight into zero without any data entry without having to go into your e inbox and sift through all your emails and get things sent over and forwarded and so on and so forth. So there are other options out there. As I said, um, I use and recommend HubDoc. If you're using HubDoc already and you don't think it's very flash, please reach out because it's probably just not set up properly um, because it will make a massive difference in your business. 
The second thing I wanted to say is once you're using a receipt management system, that should take care of the bulk of your um, bill transactions. So the second step I wanted to say is make sure that you're using bank rules where they are appropriate. So for things like, um, you know, if you're paying a monthly account keeping fee, which I hope you are not, but if you are, it's going to be the same amount every month. You could set up a bank rule. So whenever that transaction pops up, it automatically pre-fills the information in on your dashboard. And again, you're just hitting OK. So again, just making those little steps towards using the efficiencies within the system is going to add up. All those saving 10 seconds here, 30 seconds there, a couple of minutes here, all make up to be a much larger amount of time. And the one thing I consistently hear from everybody I speak to is we don't have enough time. This is how you get back some time. And the third thing that I wanted to say is to make sure that once you've got all your bills and your invoices sorted and your bank rules set up, that you're reconciling at the end of every month to make sure that everything is correct. Now, if that, if you're like, oh, what's reconciling? I don't know what that is maybe it's time to reach out and have a chat about either getting some more training so you know that you're doing the exact steps you should be doing or maybe it's time to reach out and have a chat about having a bookkeeper in your business um, whether that's an internal bookkeeper and it, or an external bookkeeper it's about finding the good fit and the best fit for you and your business if you already have a bookkeeper and you're not sure if they are doing these things just ask them and if they don't know how to do these things, then that's your opportunity to either ask them to learn more about it or for you to do a little bit of, um, you know, in information gathering on it and figure out how it's going to benefit your business and how that bookkeeper can upskill so that they can take these steps to make sure that your bookkeeping is done as efficiently and as simply as possible. So just again, as a reminder, Use HubDoc or at least a receipt management system. Make sure you're using it correctly. If it doesn't feel like it's working properly or if it feels like it's taking too much time, I guarantee you it's not set up properly. Make sure you use other efficiencies in zero, such as bank rules, and make sure that you are reconciling at the end of every month and at the end of every quarter to make sure everything is balancing so you can know that your numbers are correct. So if Getting your zero to be simple and efficient and fun is something that you thought was just a dream and would never happen. Um, happy for you to post a copy, uh, post below zero and we can have a chat and see what hints and tips we can give you um, to make sure that you go from disorganized, complicated pain in the butt to organized, efficient and fun in your bookkeeping. Any time is a perfect time to get started on this. Today is the last day of the financial year and I've been getting so many comments around how the bookkeeping is really stressful. It's time to make a change, reach out, post zero below and we can have a chat so that this time next year, you're not in the same situation. Let's move forward, not go backwards or stay where we are. Have a great day.